everyone and their mother is talking about NAD and its potential benefits to fight aging, aid in athletic recovery, and prevent a wide variety of chronic diseases like Alzheimer's, type 2 diabetes, cardiovascular disease, and so much more. But what does the scientific literature say? Is the hype for NAD backed by research? And ultimately, are NAD boosting supplements helpful, harmful, or just a plain hoax? What's up superhumans? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Tessa. I'm a functional medicine pharmacist as well as a certified nutrition coach and certified personal trainer. And my goal with this channel is to inspire, educate, and empower you to reach your optimal health and create fulfilling life using holistic, evidence-based health and wellness practices. If you want to learn more about how you can work with me one-on-one -on -one to optimize your health using alternative therapies, superfoods, and supplements, or becoming one of my online coaching clients, keep listening to the end of this video for more information or use the link below in my video description to book a free 15 minute wellness consultation with me. As always, superfoods and supplements and natural remedies can interact with certain medications and disease states, so make sure you're talking with your healthcare provider before supplementing with anything. All right, let's begin. First off, what is NAD? NAD, which includes NAD+, and NADH, is a molecule that supports our body's cellular function in a number of important ways, including keeping our DNA healthy, converting food into usable energy, repairing damaged DNA, supporting our immune system, and regulating our sleep slash wake cycle. Low levels of NAD are associated with an increased risk of heart disease, type 2 diabetes, Alzheimer's disease, and accelerated aging. NAD levels naturally decline as we age, and this happens for two reasons. Number one is that we start producing less NAD as we get older. And number two, we use more of the NAD that we have as our aging bodies experience more damage and more stress. In today's supplement world, this raises the question that if our body is constantly using NAD, why can't we just increase our intake and age healthier and have more longevity. In theory, that sounds like the right answer, but it's actually a harder question to answer than you think. Now there are two forms of vitamin B3, NR and NMN, which are receiving attention for their proposed effectiveness at increasing NAD levels in our body. A 2008 paper outlined some of these benefits, including the modest increases in lifespan, as well as slowed Alzheimer's progression, a protection against diabetes complications, improved muscular endurance, and improved heart, liver, and kidney health in lab rats. But what about in humans? Well, we don't really know much, but we are getting there. And there are many reasons as to why something might work in lab rats or mice, but not in humans. And this happens all the time when we research medications in both animal and human subjects, as well as dietary supplements. However, NAD-focused companies are, of course, hopping on the trend that it will have some sort of magical effect on humans as it has on mice or in lab rats, and frankly, that's just simply unknown at this point. One company points to a 2017 self-funded study demonstrating that supplementation with its own NR product increased the blood levels of NAD in humans as proof of its efficacy. But that might not even matter that much. Even if NR or NMN supplementation does increase the concentration of NAD in our blood cells or in our body, that's it's not necessarily evidence that having more NAD in our body will increase our lifespan or health span in humans. That's a whole nother question that needs more research and more investigation on. In fact, there have been several short-term clinical studies in humans that have been mostly disappointing despite the positive animal data. One study showed that taking NADH orally seemed to be ineffective for mild to moderate dementia and it had no significant improvement in memory, cognitive, and behavioral function after 12 weeks of treatment with NADH. There is conflicting research about the usefulness of NADH for Parkinson's disease as well. I will say that the research isn't all bad. Some clinical research shows that NADH might reduce symptoms of chronic fatigue syndrome when used alone or in combination with coenzyme Q10 or as an addition to the traditional forms of treatment for chronic fatigue syndrome. In one study, patients with chronic fatigue syndrome taking it daily for 24 months 
experienced a 42% reduction in symptoms compared to baseline in the first three months. And these results were similar to patients receiving conventional treatment with nutrition and psychological intervention. So that's good. In another study, patients with chronic fatigue syndromes taking a specific product containing NADH twice daily for eight weeks experienced a reduction in fatigue index scores by about 6%. So if you want to try supplementing, which is better, NR versus NMN? There is evidence that supplementing with NMN behaves differently from NR in the human body, including absorbing into our tissues faster, which may make NMN more promising, but it is harder to find on the traditional supplement market. And the cost for both types of supplements can range from 50 cents per day to $3 per day with no guarantee of supplement quality. Because dietary supplements, they're not subject to the same sort of oversight as pharmaceuticals or medications by the FDA. And their manufacturers don't have to prove that their products are safe or effective. So there always is a risk and potential reward to be considered when adding something to your diet, especially something that isn't regulated for safety, purity, and efficacy. So what does it mean for you if you want to enjoy a longer, healthier life? Know at this point, taking NAD boosting supplements is more of a leap of faith instead of a scientifically proven way to reduce disease risk or increase longevity. However, more often and they're not, they're unlikely to harm you or hurt you unless of course you get a low quality product that can cause a lot of side effects. But NR has really good short term safety data. But as of right now, there's still little to no proof that they will significantly help you unless you have chronic fatigue syndrome. Unfortunately, the hype for NAD is ahead of the research and it's unclear whether the research will ever confirm the hype. However, that's not to say that it couldn't potentially help you either. Only time and further research will really show whether or not they're a hoax or helpful. So if you want more scientifically proven ways to decrease disease risk, reverse certain diseases, and improve your quality of life and longevity, it all starts with your nutrition. Eating an abundance of plant-based whole foods, getting enough exercise in a day, having healthy coping mechanisms for stress, all of these have been proven time and time again in in research to have the same kind of benefits that NAD is claiming to have. In addition, there are other superfoods like chlorella, turmeric, ashwagandha, and others that I would rather spend my money on now as there's much more scientific evidence of their effectiveness for healthy aging and preventing disease. So if you wanna learn more about how to eat, exercise, and create healthy habits to improve your health, feel stronger, and have more self-confidence, make sure to subscribe to this channel by hitting the button below. And of course, if you want more daily tips and tricks on how to optimize your health using nutrition, supplements, superfood, lifestyle habits, then make sure to follow me on Instagram at the superfood pharmacist. Thanks again for watching this video. I hope you found it helpful. Please let me know if you have any questions, like put them below in the comment section if you have any questions. I love to answer any and all questions I have. I just love being a resource to you guys. And of course, I hope you have a beautiful and blessed day and always remember to keep living your worth.